All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the OBS MultiView feature, which is new uh, ever since OBS 20. And it really makes it so much easier to live stream as a producer. So check this feature out. So this is a feature that I've been using for a long time with like vMix and Wirecast and some of the higher end paid video production software. So I'm so glad it's built into OBS. So let me show you how to use it here. So this is all going to be in the view tab here. So in the view tab, you can see that down here, there's this multi view option. And we have three options, essentially. We have as many displays as you have options. So we can display it full screen on any display, or we can show a multi view window, which I think is so cool that I wanna start with that. I think this is so cool. Boom, there is a window of all of your sources. Isn't that cool? So you can put this anywhere. You could have it just in the corner there. Um, so you can immediately see what all of your sources are. And if you've been taking our course, you know that you could have hotkeys. So you can just switch in between these. Boom. And so you can see what you're doing live on every source. Isn't that crazy? So instead of just looking at the main OBS system, you can have it windowed. And I just think that is so cool. Now the multi viewer here can be obviously stretched and put anywhere you want. And so you could put this on a secondary monitor, for example, this is really great for producers. This is really great for anybody who's a camera operator. So if you have like a second or third monitor that you want uh, people in your, you know, maybe you've got two or three people working together, for example, this is really popular. Now, the great thing about this too, and we'll talk about the new tech NDI being integrated into OBS and what this will open up is that now you can have anybody with any Mac PC or Linux computer, right? Can be pulling in video sources over your local area network and use this multi view to be looking at multiple cameras. And with the new PTZ optics pan tilt zoom camera plug in, you can have somebody controlling cameras for you remotely operating them with an Xbox joystick, all integrated into OBS. So I really love this feature. Now let's take a look at the view full screen. It just takes over the whole screen. So if you have a screen that you want to dedicate to this, and this is really great for, and I'll show you an example of this. You're live streaming like a concert. Like we live stream a music festival every year called Pretty Good Fest. You can sh see some of the footage on our YouTube channel and we've got four or five cameras. And so if you're trying to make decisions about which camera to move to, it's great to be able to look at your secondary screen, kind of look at them and see which one's got the right best shot and then transition to it. If you've got these hotkeys set up, it's just gonna make it that much easier. So it's a pretty straightforward feature now available in OBS 22. Don't forget to update your OBS and try this out. It's great if you've got multiple monitors. So that's it. One more great little tutorial and feature in OBS, part of our OBS course for 2019 and 2020. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. See you guys in the next video.